Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Now, to be upfront, my opinion is still that from from what I've seen, I believe most chart analysts out there are are feeling more bullish than bearish, at least out of the analysts that that I'm tracking. Uh, but uh, a couple, not so much. They they say, hey, we're in a, a downward trend. Some of them. Uh, there's a, an analyst today that's saying, hey, uh, XRP could potentially get down to 13 to 15 cents. Not, not that it would happen, and, and not even that uh, he thinks that's likely, but there are some potential negative outlooks. So um, I'm, I'm going to share those with you, but I still think it's, it seems to me, again, most of the sentiment out there more on the positive side. Now, this video is about price. I do not have a financial background. I don't make price predictions. Don't buy or sell anything uh, because of anything included in this video or anything that I say, anything I write, nothing like that. Uh, th this video, I, I create stuff like this because I'm a member of the XRP community. I think it's fun to track what analysts uh, think in terms of price action. And, and for me, technical analysis is interesting when it's not just about um, not just about price predictions, but about probability of outcomes because that's what seems to make a lot more sense to me right now. But anyway, before going any further, if you would please delicately tap that like button, and if you are a fan of Ripple and XRP, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel, because if you do, maybe we can become friends. Perhaps even best friends. So the market cap for the asset class now, 234 billion bitcoins at 8,606. XRP, at the time of recording, down to 23.1 cents. And uh, not too much activity over the last 24 hours until maybe the last hour or so. It's dropped, you know, three-tenths of a penny, XRP has. And Bitcoin's gone down, eh, a little bit. What is that, a couple hundred or something like that? I don't know, somewhere in that neighborhood. Anyway, so here's here's the first analysis. This is from uh, Dennis Surachek. He is a uh, analyst with crypto media outlet U Today. He's got his XRP price predictions. That's how he labels this every day. So here we go. XRP is trading without significant changes. After a rebound from the support level, quotes have remained sideways. Even though XRP has continued a sideways trading trend for a few days, it will face a decline shortly. Uh, the rate of the coin has decreased by almost 2% over the last day. What is more, the MACD indicator has just switched to a bearish trend, summing up the more likely scenario is a drop to the closest support of 23 cents. And then he writes, XRP is trading at 23.4 cents at press time. And so this was a little bit earlier today. Let me see if they have a timestamp on this. Uh, they normally do. Eh, maybe not. Well, okay, it, it, was, it was a little bit earlier today within the last, I want to say, several hours or so. And so uh, we'll see if XRP stays where it was, but uh, he may have been spot on right there because XRP is basically, uh, I mean, it's pretty close to that 23 cent mark he was saying. So, you know, we'll see. We'll keep dragging it. Uh, next, Bitcoin price tightens as traders prepare for a second shot at $9,200. Uh, after a strong two-week performance that saw Bitcoin price rise from 7700 to 9200 the top crypto asset appears to be consolidating before making another attempt at $9,200. As this process takes place and Bitcoin's dominance rate dropped slightly, uh, many altcoins rallied with double-digit gains, which brought many to test or even push above their two-year long descending trend lines. Uh, most notably, uh, ETH slash BTC pair pushed above its long-term downtrend and occurrence covered in great detail by uh, another Cointelegraph contributor. Um, now, the strong rejection at 9200 on January 18th and then uh, and following drop from the ascending wedge pattern briefly flipped trader sentiment to bearish and calls for a revisit to $8,000 and below the 200-day moving average surfaced. Now, fortunately for bulls, traders have done a good job defending the support zone at 8470 and the shorter time frame charts currently show Bitcoin attempting to press above the moving average, above the Bollinger Band indicator. Um, and then we get down, where's the part that I wanted to cover? Uh, here we go. I think this was it anyway. Uh, even if a high volume spike sends Bitcoin price back to $9,000, a more desirable move would see the price push through 9113 and hold for a four hour close. Uh, setting a daily high, a higher high above $9,200 would also restore momentum and show Bitcoin is ready for continuation to $9,600. Yeah, one of these days, right? Uh, next. 
Uh, check out, take a look at this. Is Ethereum about to break out of a two-year bear market? Now, of course, this is an XRP-centric channel, but we got to take it. We got to consider the market as a whole because, unfortunately, uh, all the coins act as if they're the same damn coin. More like a lot of do they not? There's there's such such high correlation within this asset class, which is just an indication of how completely immature the asset class is. Uh, but but that, that's okay. That's where we're at right now. Uh, now Ethereum apparently led the, the the altcoin breakout in 2017, which is significant because every other altcoin followed its suit ultimately. And there have been traders that I've been following. I've cited them on this channel in a number of different videos. Many of them believe that if Ethereum breaks out, that will truly be the beginning of uh, of alt season here. So is Ethereum about to break out of a two year bear market? That'd be good for XRP ultimately, don't you think? Since the beginning of 2020, Ethereum has outperformed Bitcoin. In just three weeks, the world's second most popular crypto asset has surged 33%, while its big brother has made just over 20%. Since the weekend's minor pullback, Ethereum prices have been building slowly higher, reaching $170 a few hours ago and holding there. The next major resistance point is just above $180, where the 200-day moving average sits. And beyond that is the psychological $200 barrier. If current momentum continues, a golden cross between the 50- and 200-day moving averages uh, could occur by the end of January. Uh, the last time this happened was in early April 2019, and a 133% surge followed over the next two months. Uh, Longer-term technical signals are also turning bullish. The weekly MACD has crossed for the fourth time in history, as noticed by this Ethereum trader, and he is at Alexander Fisher. And he wrote, ETH USD weekly MACD has crossed up for the fourth time in history, watching for weekly close to confirm and maybe retest in the coming couple weeks, but super bullish. And then uh, others uh, have echoed the sentiment, uh, with popular Twitter trader Galaxy noting that Ethereum is very close to a breakout from its two-year bear market. All right, uh, next here, Leb Crypto. XRP may end up having yet another rejection by the two-year trend line, uh, creating yet another macro lower high. If this occurs, then we should likely expect 15 and 13 cents in the very near future. However, I still think the most likely outcome is upwards breaking resistance. So he's, he's just acknowledging that it's possible. There is potentially a path there. I'll pull up for those of you that are interested. Here's the chart that he has associated with it anyway. <laughs> now, um, of course, you know, I'm Moon Lambo. I'm an XRP guy. I'd love to see the, the price of XRP go higher. But if it does hit anywhere approaching 15 cents, I am going to, I, I, I mentioned this before, I will absolutely um, behave outside of my normal buying pattern because I'm very strict about it. I'm on a set buying pattern. I only uh, buy XRP in quantities that I'm willing to lose in case I'm wrong about this whole thing, uh, which I, I don't think I am. I'm just saying. Uh, but if it really does get into that 15 cent range or, my gosh, 13 cents, uh, yeah, Moon Lambo going on a shopping spree. All right, that's what's going to be happening. I'm just saying. All right, uh, next from Cantering Clark. I'm not sure why many are so keen about looking for shorts right now. Bitcoin is staying a bit above some good levels. Sure, that can change, but doesn't it make sense to weigh bias based on something concrete first? Some of you sound like you have it out for Bitcoin. So there you go. He's thinking it's more bullish than not bullish. All right, uh, Josh Rager, and he writes this. I don't understand everyone's obsession with $5,500. And he's talking about Bitcoin price there, of course. Everyone has pointed there for a long time. <clears throat> sure, it could, but $6,400 low makes sense because it bounded uh, off the macro POC and was a perfect front run. But now it will probably dump to $5,000 because I said this. <laughs> so, like, isn't, that how the, isn't that how life works? Uh, yeah. So he's he's more uh, he's more bullish than bearish too. But again, like I said, that's what I'm seeing from from most chart analysts out there today. Anyway, now from Patty Stash, another chart analyst here who's very pro XRP, by the way, and he's showing the chart that he has on the screen here. This is an altcoin market cap dominance chart, and he is a very strong proponent just for the concept of uh, alt season ultimately coming. He thinks we are so close. He hasn't ever put a timestamp on it, which is fine. It's you know, he, but he just sees that. Given the trend line here, 
we're about there. That's that's been his opinion for for some time now. So we wrote, "Come on already, just pamp eat." And that's not me just saying it. Where he, it's 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 pump it, but he wrote P A M P space E E E T, pamp eat. Try it. Try saying it. Pamp eat. Unless you're around somewhere where you'd be embarrassed by doing it. Pamp eat. Literally sitting right on the cusp of the breakout point. Send it. Just send it. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks for close and. Uh, uh, I just I'd be surprised if there weren't at some point an alt season, even if it doesn't look the same as 2017. I'm just saying, uh, the, the markets have not figured this all out. And uh, here's that tweet from Galaxy that was tweeted uh, or mentioned in that other article. Um, Ethereum is weeks away from breaking out its two-year downtrend. Uh, possible bull signal incoming next week. February is takeoff month. Uh, let's see if that comes to pass, because like, like I keep saying, and, and so many people, the reason I keep point, pointing this out on this channel is because it's been made clear to me by multiple uh, technical analysts that this really could be, perhaps, uh, some say, most most aren't saying definitively, but many believe it's quite possible that if Ethereum takes off, this is really going to do things for the market, and even for me as an XRP holder, it's all tethered together. I'm happy to track this and watch and just see what happens, because I don't know, but it's interesting. All right, uh, last here. This is from chart analyst Wooston. My dear friends, short history, and in parentheses he writes, no news. If Bitcoin falls, so will XRP and Ethereum. The bulls will lose the chance to break out the wedge. XRP and Ethereum in the same scenario. One bullish alternative against two bearish alternatives. Even so, it doesn't mean a bull break can't happen. And there you go, acknowledgement of correlation. <laughs> so, I know, breaking news, right? But uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for stopping by. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau!